Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This uh, video is uh, from Electronic Devices and Circuits, Chapter Two, by book by Mr. Bolstad. And here I will be solving end chapter problem number twenty-six, and this is on the request of a student. So let's uh, have some concept built here. This is the circuit that we will solve ultimately. The input voltage is 10 volt uh, positive, 10 volt negative, alternating. Uh, so first of all, I'll ch change the place of these two. So our circuit will now become like this. And then I'll separate the diode. So separating the diode, now this is the circuit remaining. Now if we apply this voltage 10 volt, what will happen? It will equally divide between two parts because one K here, one K here. And so the voltage feeding this one, one will be five volt peak. This is the total input, but this one or the voltage across this will be five volt peak positive, five volt peak negative. So this is the concept that I want to convey. And now if you just connect this, so this week circuit, uh, we'll discuss in the next slide. Okay, now there could be two scenarios. One is that the diode is ideal. So in case of an ideal diode, we know that this will be treated like a short circuit for positive half and open circuit for negative half. So the first one, positive half, this is a short circuit. So all current will flow through this path. There will be no voltage drop because this has no resistance. And so the output voltage will be zero. And what will happen when the negative part, the diode will be reverse bias. So reverse bias is an open circuit. And now the current will flow through this resistance. And so the output will be exactly same as the input. So this will be the output. And the sum of the two will give the result for the ideal case. Now, what will happen to, for the non-ideal case? Now we know that in non-ideal case, the diode is replaced by 0 0.7 volt. Here it was replaced by short circuit. In non-ideal case, it will be replaced by a battery of 0 0.7 volt. So no matter what is the positive input, this voltage will be 0 0.7 volt. Okay, it has to be more than 0 0.7 volt, of course. For that, the output will be 0 0.7 volt. And for the negative half, it will just behave like here. Diode will open, and so the input voltage will be at the output. So for non-ideal case, the output will be, this is for the positive half, and this is for the negative half. So we'll take this concept in solving the problem, because when in the question it is not mentioned that the diode is ideal, that means we have to assume that the diode is non-ideal. Okay, so this is the question for the network and figure this. Sketch V0, which is the output V out, and the current IR, now current through this resistor. And the input is 10 volt, 10 volt. Now to plot the voltage, I have just marked these two resistances R1 and R2. And now by VDR, we know the voltage will be across these two we just discussed. So VR2, the voltage across R2 or this circuit hole will be input VI divided by these two resistances multiplied by this resistance across which we are trying to find. So that means it is one divided by two, that means it will be half. So VR2 will be 0 0.5 of VI1. Now, what does that mean? That whatever is the peak of this one, it will be half. It will be uh, multiplied by 0 0.5. So this will be the voltage across this VR2. Okay, so it's like this here. And the diode will conduct when VR2 is 0 0.7 volt. So when this voltage is 0 0.7 volt, 
the diode will start conducting and we have seen that the output will be 0 0.7 volt and what will happen during the negative half cycle the diode will not conduct and so the negative half will appear at the output so we can say uh, or there is an easy way of plotting you take the input which is this in this case draw a line at 0 0.7 volt because beyond this there will be no output uh, whether input is 5 volt or 6 volt output will remain 0 0.7 and then in the in the final result we just cut this out that means our output voltage will look like this now with this output voltage we will now find the current so this is the first half okay to plot current we need to find vr1 because the current is through this resistance only this will actually divide here but we'll, we we know for sure that the current through vr1 is ir so we, we will try to find vr1 and if you see from here vr1 is v input minus v output And graphically, we can say that VR1 will be V input minus V out. So we subtracting these two, we'll get VR1. We can do it mathematically or we can also do diagrammatically. Okay, the diode conduction V0 is 0 0.7 volt. This one here. VR peak. Now we're just trying to find the peak voltage so vr peak will be v in peak now v in here is now 10 volt remember don't don't uh, get confused that you were taking five five watts for this five five volt across this but we are trying to find this voltage so we'll take the input voltage which is 10 volt 10 volt so v peak is 10 and minus 0 0.7 which is this one from here also you can see plus 10 minus 0 0.7 this is minus sign so we are peak positive will be 9.3 volt and from this we can calculate ir peak so we are one peak divided by r1 9.3 divided by 1 kilo is 9.3 milli ampere so we can draw the first half current the first half current will be 9.3 milli ampere what about the second half current okay diode not conducting so v peak minus again same formula now here we are minus 10 minus minus 5 minus 10 minus minus 5 it will be minus 5 and same way current we can calculate current will be now minus 5 milli ampere so this is for the second half minus 5 milli ampere and the net result is uh, just we uh, redraw the two parts so the complete current diagram will be like this 9.3 and minus 5 milli ampere so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you